Bill and his cronies invented the idea of putting walkie-talkies into the helmet. But we made ours with a special rabbit ear on the top so we could pipe in some music. This is my review for The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou released in 2004. In many ways, this is Wes Anderson's most commercial or mainstream outing. There are still remaining common themes of his previous films, family and more to the point definition of family. With Life Aquatic you get Wes is doing, maybe for his first time, an all out comedy. Yes, it still has the quirky moments you come to expect, but it also has far out wacky slapstick moments including Bill Murray's Steve Zissou running into a room of pirates, firing a gun, fight scenes and other aspects that take away from the more subtle scenes you may expect from, say, Rushmore. That's what I like about Wes Anderson as a director. He is known for his quirky style, but he's not afraid to take it to the extreme too. The final job in Bottle Rocket, the wedding reception in the Royal Tenenbaums and many other scenes in Life Aquatic prove this. Bill Murray steals the show here, and it's a nice change of pace for him. After his more downbeat, subtle performances in the brilliant Rushmore, he seemed to take roles that were suited to his style, such as Lost in Translation or Broken Flowers. But here we see him with a great mix of subtle qualities of, say, Lost in Translation and the more out there style seen in Ghostbusters or Groundhog Day. I could pick out so many comedy gems for Murray in this film. Jeff Goldblum also pulls in a solid performance here and he and Murray bounce comedically off each other quite well. Owen Wilson is also great and further proves that he is at his pure best when working with Wes. No other of his performances come close. Working with Wes seems to bring out the best in Owen Wilson. For example, what I personally think is his best performance in Bottle Rocket as Dignan. The Life Aquatic mixes the surreal with, well, the not even real, I guess, hyper-reality. Everything is slightly off, which adds to the charm. One of the most interesting points of the film is the fish. Being a film about an oceanographer, the sea life is of course present. However, the marine life is animated using stop-motion animation, for example Wallace and Gromit, a form of animation I love, however here, it never quite mixes well. It seemed too odd. The characters themselves were odd enough to sustain the zaniness of the film. However, it does help to further separate it from his other work. Further separating it is his choice of music. C.O. George provides the majority of the music with covers of Bowie songs. With, an odd, with the odd original Bowie song thrown in there in key moments. The addition of George also plays a character who would sit and play songs. It seemed a little odd and quite a commercial move. All in all, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou is a brave move for Wes Anderson. I remember seeing this in the cinema and coming out having never laughed so much in the cinema. And I was a keen Anderson fan at the time. However, on third and fourth watches, I can see how this film may disappoint some Anderson fans. It is more mainstream. It is more commercial, but please, look past that. It still holds the value from his previous films with a stronger attempt at broad comedy. Bill Murray is fantastic here and steals every scene. What Wes has done here is create something that will appeal to non-fans of Wes Anderson and one of Bill Murray's finest performances. I'm gonna fight you, Steve. You never say, I'm gonna fight you, Steve. You just smile.